Hello, good evening, everyone. I'm here tonight. Orca, this is Orca. I'm joined with my wonderful coach, wonderful human being, uh, Reborn. How you doing, Reborn? Excited for some solo queue. What's the, uh, what's the rotation going on today? Uh, let's see. It is Inkblot Art Academy and Manta Maria Rainmaker. Oh, and I'm on a game five. That's scary. Oh, well, let's see if I can clutch it or not. Oh, yeah, we'll start off. Start off just right out the gate, come out the gate swinging. Tonight's an interesting night because I actually feel very tired. And if I lose four games in a row, I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm just calling it because uh, I'm pretty exhausted right now. And I don't know if my brain is fully on, but I'm, I'm going to see. I have to test it out. Practice here. See how we can play. I'm almost tired. Probably not that? optimal for tournaments, but it's a good nice test. Not what I'm really about trying to push myself. If you, if you feel too tired, that's <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I'm very optimistic. I appreciate that. I appreciate the optimism. I've been struggling today. Today was such a struggle at work. And I just came home and slept for an hour because I was too tired. But, and I'm still tired. But no, no, I can't think about that right now. I gotta think about the game. So, right, what we got? We got a tri slash, got a spray. Interesting. Hydro. I think a lot of this game is you can try and put like the objective when needed, but there's any times where you can ignore the objective and try to get a bigger target. I'm gonna try to go for this Hydro right now. Oh, they, they just went straight for it. Oh, they jumped out. I've been thinking about something on this stage, which is going super far left, like right over here. I realized I wasn't doing that before. Yeah, I think in this spot it's like a little bit awkward. Mm -hmm. Should probably. A little bit awkward, but yeah, I think they make it. It's very solid. Yeah. Especially Rex 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 sitting, like setting up a good spot. Mm -hmm. so, uh, let me make sure that... Well, the thing is that they have defense, so... Not sure, they can just jump back in. But I do like this third one, though. Am I gonna die? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know, the push to one. It's still winnable. Drop. My aim was off a little bit. Okay, that's fine. That's unfortunate. Oh, actually, I can just catch this and take it off. Hydra's charge lasts so long. <laughs> yeah. I keep thinking I'm gonna time it right, and I don't. Yeah, they have a lot of really good. You can like outside of their range for this one. There's another big 
I'll try to clear it once I jump over here. I'm sure there's gonna be a jump. Never mind. Okay, we're up a lot. It's just Hydra. Can we push that? Nice. This is the Wade White. I'll just keep pushing up. In fact, I'll, I'll try to take this left side here. See if I can set a crab. That was. I should have. Mm, yeah, okay, that's fair. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a good idea. Can you try a little bit from spawning? Yeah, I, I was I thinking about it. I'm gonna focus me. What can I do here? No, this is a horrible decision, huh? So, in those types of situations, like, obviously it's bad that they push to one, but because they already have a 2 one. As long as we stop it. Yeah, like, you can, you can probably just play a little bit slower for some of those fights and just assume that your teammates are gonna, gonna do something there. Mmm, that's fair. Well, that is fair. The game's tough. When you, when you start losing, like, a lot of pressure and you need a big push, and they have, like, beacons and stuff, and they have a backline diff, it's just, there's a lot stacked up against us. But I like the idea that we went for. Um, I think if we needed less of a push, I think the crab timing was probably fine. But because we needed to KO them, I probably would have been a little bit more greedy with how I crabbed. So instead of like popping the crab when we did, I would have probably looked for like another pick or two before popping it. Mm, and nice ideally yeah. time the crab so that we can maximize our push. Yeah, we want to time the crab probably when we're actually pushing it instead of like before pop. Yeah, and it, it just depends on the scenario. Like, if, if y'all had the lead or for the the match and it like, didn't have to get a KO, um, I think your crab timing is perfectly fine. It's in most spots, in the, like, obviously the timing is a little bit weird, but most times in those situations, like, we'll get really good value out of it, but mm -hmm. we're kind of forced to KO there, so um, I think we probably get a good hit for one or two more just because like, we, we have to put ourselves in a really favorable position to be able to win actually mm -hmm. get the weekly win condition exactly yeah. that makes sense it's like one of the freeing things obviously it feels beautiful to be down by one but or like you know it's one with the KO. but the nice thing is like you can you have more freedom to be I guess I should've given it up, I don't know. Yeah, it's really- the spots are always tough, because like, teammates were going for the pop when they were actually giving it up. Like, you, yeah, you gave up- Yeah, I wanted to give it up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gave it up at the right time, and then you gave it up. Can they even access it here? Uh, they can jump off the floor. Rolling to the right. Ouch, they say. What is it? 
I thought someone was sharking here. I hear ink. Yeah, the right idea. <laughs> There's someone somewhere, but... Okay, I gotta think of something to make me win the game here. I gotta think deeper thoughts. <laughs> I'm just thinking surface level thoughts right now. Okay. Let's see. There's so many ouches everywhere. I, all I hear is ouch, ouch, ouch. I hear this way. I'm starting to get overstimulated by this. Is like we're playing Rainmaker on Manta. Like a lot of times, you know, we like to use like that right flank and like go through their like cut on the right side towards like their, their first checkpoint. Um, and like flanking through that area and like punishing backline, you know, maybe pushing like their bunker and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think in certain opportunities, like if the enemy team's trying to like push to a new score. Um, we'll definitely have to be a little bit more concerned about, like, stopping the Rainmaker. But when we're kind of, like, playing around in mid and stuff, I think those are opportunities where we can kind of, like, ignore the objective. And, like, figure out, like, a target in mind. Or, you, know, so, you know, if we can potentially find a pick on their backline, obviously that's pretty high value. But, but yeah, I, I, would, I would look for... Those same like flanks and everything that you would like, use for like, and everything. Um, mm -hmm. See if we can potentially find like, similar ideas and like really focus on like finding those picks. Like,
do like that we want a media crab against the Spoosh, but things are gonna definitely swim around this before we can. Could maybe we win an extra drop. Wait, there is someone there. I was like, <laughs> I thought I saw someone there. I thought I was going crazy for a second. There, I think. Yeah, sometimes in those spots, if you lose sight of that first person and you know that they're going to get them, sometimes you can like roll off the ledge and still play. I thought I was on the rail. I was like, why am I not going up? Come on. Okay. Okay. Nice. Well um, no, that was good. That was a good game. Um, there's a couple of opportunities. Not again. Not that you like played it wrong at all. Um. But, like, you can play, like, around, like, left stacks and right stacks and stuff. Sometimes we were playing, like, kind of, like, really close to the rest of our team around the objective. Like, we were playing, like, mm -hmm. through mid, and we were pushing, like, the window and everything. Like, they're, like, in front of, like, the first checkpoint. Like, that was our path to get to their side. And, that like, that's not bad by any means, but... Uh, you do have the option, like, if your team's fighting and stuff in mid and they're already, like, holding those mid spaces, that's where, like, you can come up with opportunities to play a little bit wider. You can look for, like, a shark on the far left side and potentially catch people that are pushing through, like, the enemy that's, like, dropping on their left side and coming around to, like, that first checkpoint to try to fight in mid. You can look for picks that way. Uh, you can also hold, like, the right side of mid or, like, the right stack. And if anyone drops into mid to help to like fight your team or if anyone's playing their ledges, uh, you can potentially like play it slower and like look for picks that way. Mm -hmm. And and that kind of goes along with the theme of um, like kind of playing off the objective and just, you know, like you, you know where the enemy team is generally going to be looking kind of around the room maker. And you want to try to play opposite of that to catch the game. When you say far left, do you mean pit area? Yeah, you can play in the pit. You can play in the pit or you can sharp under the ledges and stuff. It's kind of like the pit's generally safer. Of, I was thinking about where my teammates were. I didn't really necessarily know their location.
have a nice crab. Yeah, when it was just the trash stringer left, I would have just started, like, instead of looking for crab on you, or like, setting up on the left stack, you could have probably set up on your back. I should have sat under their back, you said? Or like, set up, like, on their back? Set up. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Just, yeah, just sit in that area, because eventually your teammates are going to bring Greenmaker up to you, and you can grab it up over. Fights are happening around the left side, like sometimes you are gonna bunch up a little bit, so like it's okay to to sharpen the spots. Ah, they definitely see me. So much chaos happening. I guess there's. I have to wait for my team to like actually regroup, huh? Just play. But then also they can get the lead, huh? Uh, I guess I have to. So, yeah, in those spots when it comes to like playing defense and stuff, and you have the lead, I think like the way you played it was fine. Um, with the comp that you had, you did have double backline, and for your C Jet specifically, y'all had like, um, like C Jet is like a really strong, like, stally Rainmaker comp. So, like, they didn't have to go very far, or like, like the kit is like super stally because that's toxic mist. So I think like it's okay for you to go for like the aggressive plays and everything. Um, but also kind of know that like with double backline, like we may not get a ton of assistance, especially like like around the stacks and everything. Like we may not get as much assistance. So the fights that we take, we have to be like, pretty confident in. Um, which, like, one of the times we, like, chased down the Rainmaker, which was good. But I think we probably could have... Uh, we probably could have just kept running at the Rainmaker. Because we ended up, like, dropping in the mid. And there was just, like, all enemy ink. And like, that wasn't really a good place for us to go. So I probably would have, like, played farther on the right side. And tried to, like, isolate yourself into a fight. Because I think you probably could have got a the Rainmaker and slowed them down, but... Um, this is really weird, because it's like... When you have a lead just at the checkpoint, everything feels so, like... Tough. And one little mistake can make the difference, which is what I think happening. But with the stall comp, you can also, like, stall with the and potentially throw the crab. That's kind of get a feel for how the game's going.
Oh, nice. Can I do this? Oh. <laughs> I feel like it was possible. Yeah, in that spot right there, I like either I'm picking it up and just holding forward until I die and just taking the points, or I'm holding forward immediately and assuming like the like, like like I'm either holding forward and taking a fight or um, I'm picking up the remaker myself mm -hmm. and just like I'm taking in another 10 15 points and then dying for Just to like catch the points. Fuck it, movement. I need to aim higher versus buckets. No, really nice push. Um you probably get a run down with try uh the press off instead of grabbing. Just because they're probably gonna be focused on the remaker. So, like they don't want to take a fight with you because they need to stop the rainmaker because they're the last one. So you can do that to your training. But crab was fine. Crab was good. You can do yourself in this space. For the rest of this game, unless something drastically changes, I want you to play really slow. Like, I want you to, like, okay. shark, I want you to rat, I want you to, like, find good plays. Okay. You have, like, a support and a backline, so you, like, you can just shark left side. Like, I... <laughs> you can help with pop, it's fine, but, like, you can also just, like, like, like that and just, like, play really fun or something. Okay. Or play far right, and just, like, try to just confirm that. You have a lot of things to work with, so I just want to get good clean text in these spots. Okay. Ah, that was bad. No, it lowered up, I should have backed up. It's all good. Continuation's totally fine, but we don't have to go for that play. But I'm, I'm totally yeah. comfortable with you making that play. But that's out of the screen. Can't the ledge if you want. Their shots on the crab are so good. Uh, yeah, go for it, go for it. Find the crab, finish it. So aggressive. They have to see me here, there's no way. Okay, <laughs> A good idea, a good idea. Same thing here, let's, let's go for the tricky thing. They're all over there. I just, just gonna see if okay. that worked or not. Where, where, where can we rat at this spawn? One more defense, where do we sit? Where do we sit? Uh... Here. They're so weak. I have one HP left. Okay. Yeah, good stuff. Oh, thank you. Yeah, when you have those big leads, definitely like play more I mean, slow, obviously... patient. Yeah, it depends on the scenario, but I feel like sometimes you feel like you're forced to like boost or something, just because of like how fast pace and chaotic remaker is. But if you play at a different pace than like the constant fighting that's just non-stop happening, like. Mm -hmm. In most cases, everyone else is going to be like feeding into the chaos. So if you take a second mm. and slow down, you can like find a lot of opportunities to kind of count like play against all of that, you know, everything that's going on. Well, that makes complete sense. I, um, I'm definitely gonna 
Thing is that I think I just need to play more covert in general. I was actually watching some FLC video last a couple days ago, and he was talking about what was it? Uh, building robust team comps. Okay. And then he was basically talking about the caveman, t or like putting your team through a caveman test, which is, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like four. Yeah, like all your your comp versus four splatter shots, <laughs> basically. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember him talking about how splatter shot is kind of the quintessential Splatoon weapon because it kind of exemplifies all the. Uh, they, they definitely see me here. Let's see if I can get it. I'm sorry, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, but he was talking about how. <laughs> Splatter shot. One of the things he was mentioning was about how Splatter shot likes to make covert plays because they're basically a short range weapon, and that's how kind of short range weapons close the difference between. It's like with sharking. I don't know. No. I should have just went to the left stack and crap, maybe. Yeah, I like that one. Just to guarantee the check point. Yeah, to guarantee it there. Oh, I thought it was a... Can we add a spawn? Can we find a pick on the uh, Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to like, work on that specifically, but I can't. They're just staying on this left stack. You know? I gotta figure out a way to... Maybe... Maybe just going super far left. See when two of your teammates went down. Oh shit. Very doable. This thing, brush. <laughs> Running at you, like you will eventually outrange them. Like, Why are you? Uh, interesting. I'm just aiming for the brush. They're so weak. Are there two brushes? I just realized that. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, that's. <laughs> I was like, this brush always seems to be everywhere. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. Oh. We have a brush too. Go off, brush. Go off. Oh. Okay, we're up right now. But we need to push. Oh, I almost died. No, no. Just take it a little more patient there. Oh, they, we could have won. Good job finding an opportunity. Yeah, that comp was really annoying. Um, and whether you're thinking about it or not, I really like the adaptation of playing like a little bit more crab heavy in the second part of the game. Because they just like, they shut you out of a lot of choke points. Like, I mean, I guess there's really only one big choke point to get into yeah. their base. And they just mm -hmm. like shut you out because of the brushes and blaster so exactly. there's not a ton of options um, sometimes you can camp under the ledges and like maybe hug the right side a little bit more mm -hmm. like in mid, and maybe like you can catch one of them dropping but yeah it's a tough spot to be in i think i think crab was the right play maybe we like focus on getting our crab out and everything so, well, i was yeah. i would feel pretty happy with most of that game uh, but i think early on we uh, we definitely cut back with the bench a little bit yeah. Like picking those fights, again, like, if, if you're not fully sure where they're at, like, just type backwards and, use, like, allow yourself more time to, like, get them to play. Yeah, that's fair. Don't feel like you're going to play that DPS them, because they're just like, slapping their rush around. Like, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I have to, like, be on the, the, the first frame. It's like fighting Stry Slosher. The same thing with myself. Keep fighting so you have more time to, to process and stay away. Um, yeah. Also, a small thing when you have like a especially suction bomb, like, so let's say that your team pop like is scoring, or, like when the, the Rainmaker shield is like reforming and like you can pop it again, sometimes you can time a suction bomb. Interesting. Sometimes you can time your suction bomb so that it explodes right when the pop is available. It's so like once the once the Rainmaker shield forms, like after someone dies with it or after you get your point, the Rainmaker shield forms again. And if you time, like you can throw your suction bomb a little bit early before that happens, and like it stays active for a little bit before it explodes, or like it just sits there a little bit, and. If you like time it properly, like you can throw the suction bomb before you like start playing aggressive, then it can like pop the rainmaker a little bit faster. Oh yeah, it's like the sprinkler strat. Like you just put a sprinkler yeah. right before the shield forms just, again. Yeah, effectively. Yeah. I see. Um, I, I think for your role, like sometimes it can just help. Like, like when your team got like the first checkpoint and stuff like you could have gotten you, if you throw that down sometimes you get to push it a little bit faster and just speed things up a little bit i like to use it on like zap and some more defensive weapons because i can get like two suction bombs out if i time it properly so like once the remaker field forms i get two suction bombs on it which sometimes is more. it's not a big deal but it's a nice little someone on this left stack I've done that. <laughs> uh, I think the idea was good. Since we're playing against Blaster, I probably Blaster, would have just... I would have just go over there. First one. Go on the new stuff. Get away from the ledge. Okay, the cooler's up. We're even right now. There's someone on this left stack. I can do this. What? Forever. 
You could have shark under that wood instead of like to the wall and grab it. You could have just sat there and played like that. Your thought was fine too. But... The idea is sitting on like that left ramp, but if you could definitely play that wide, people are going to be coming and going through that area. Like that. When it went down, that was like one of those opportunities where you could have a section ball now first. I don't think the pop. Before you pop it up. Again, yeah, I gotta start around. trying to realize those more often. That's all good. It's not bad. Just bow up there, we probably could have just like, pushed him. Yeah. Or at least like take him away like, instead of running back there. So Play it right. Okay. <laughs> I keep dying just immediately. <laughs> what am I doing? Take what am I doing? We did a lot of good things that game. We got a little, <laughs> little scrabby baby in the bit. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think one thing you noticed when you were kind of sharking in mid a little bit in the middle of the game, um, you have to paint for yourself a lot to be able to find those opportunities and that kind of like. Ruin the ruined shark. The shark. <laughs> ruined it, yeah. So sometimes if you notice, like <coughs> if, if the enemy team is like out painting your team and everything, you may want to take a little bit of time and like while both teams are kind of scrapping in mid and stuff, it some instead like you still want to go for like sharks, but sometimes you may want to like take a little bit of time to like help with the team. Mm. Because it'll like pay off in the future when you're 
when I um, actually can go for the shark. Yeah, like, exactly. That makes sense. That makes sense. It, and it, it purely just depends on like the the how the time the game is going. Yeah. Like sometimes there might be some pushes where y'all have a ton of control and like you eventually like the push stops and then you help mid you just had mid painted for a long time. And there's gonna be certain spots where your team is just like sitting in your base because you're having to defend forever, and the enemy team is just like, <coughs> taking full control in mid. Mm -hmm. But if you notice that, like you're having a hard time finding good spots, that might be like the a cube. little, yeah, a little. Like, okay, you can probably probably paint a little bit more, and obviously we get good rewards by having crab and everything. Mm. Double backline. Sides. I, I read that, but I just messed it up. I probably would have rolled like deeper into the pit just to keep my distance. Get my distance. Yeah, I, I, I don't implement a lot of double rolls. Where's the E leader? Stay there. I, I, it, you just had one defender. I like that you did that, but now that that enemy goes down, like then you do the monster assault you play. Yeah, we're just sad mats, honestly. And then once they like start committing this thing, mm. I'd be careful about jumping your teammates here, just because like you have one defender right now. It just keeps you going bad. If, if your teammates win bats, I would love for you to go for that play, but if you're doing bats, you might have to be a little bit more responsible. Pushing up. You just wait for the drop. Ah, shoot. Where'd they go? Ah. They faked me out. They, they broke my ankle. <laughs> I have a lead to 11 right now, so again, I think this is a, a game where we Time to play really slow. Just guarantee. <laughs> what? Oh, my, my wrist! My wrist! <laughs> okay. Oh. Nah, my, my ankle's getting broken by this T-Tech, I'll tell you. Uh, 
I just thought I could use this since I would be able to build one more by the end of the game. Get some paint. Come on. Work that. Where is that coming from? Okay. Uh -huh. so we have a little bit of time to look for a shark spot. Yeah. I would have dropped off there, but like before you died. Okay. The spot even was like in the hero. Like you have to overextend to try to like get those picks. Mm -hmm. Like they're the one that have to make a move. Yeah. So don't feel like you have to like go down. You give up my position. Yeah, you don't have to go over a ledge to take a fight like that. Oh, that's because true, yeah. It, it's up to them to move. Like, if they're running up the ramp, and you're you're peeking over the ledge to, like, pre-fire them as they're running up, sure. But if they're just, like, sitting there and kind of shooting and stuff, like, you should be comfortable until they decide to start moving forward, then they can look for a fight. That um, makes sense. Yeah. Well, otherwise, I think that game was pretty solid. Um... I really like that you were able to stay alive for like a million years in their bats uh, when yeah. you all got to do a huge push. Um, there was like a moment where you were like getting whaled and getting chipped at by the uh, tri stringer. Um, you ended up like trying to jump over the ledge and like peek them to try to like shoot at them and find a pick. Um, like that play's not bad by any means, but I, like in that perspective, like you just staying alive is like really good value. Which we ended up seeing the value of it. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But like, don't. I don't want you to feel forced to like have to win that fight against the tri -stream. Like, even if you just keep jumping around and just dodging the wall underneath that ledge on the invisible mm -hmm. spot, um, like you don't really have to like. Like, if, if you see an opportunity to poke, feel free to go for the poke. But like, it felt like you had this sense of desperation. Like, I need to make something of this play. But if you can just like stay alive and not jump and potentially run into their like, chip and everything, mm -hmm. like, that, it, like, it's still a really good plan. Like, you don't have to, like, get any more value. Um, just staying alive and just being a nuisance is really good. Because if they, like, pop whale and they don't get you out of there, it's like, okay, well, I just wasted my whale. This is too bad. Yeah. You know, it's like, sometimes you can just, like, just be comfortable with, like, staying alive. Um, mm -hmm. You could try dropping a weapon at the beginning of this game. And okay. just use that use that ramp and like just go for a penny. Let's do it. Let's go find the Hydra. Okay. I feel like the pain brush is gonna roll out right immediately. Yeah, I would have just like immediately like pushed onto their plot. Mm. Um, your play was fine. Like sharking there is okay. Um, but you can also just like, most people are gonna drop it. So no one's gonna look for that flank because it's a little That was a nice shark. I'm gonna be carrying the Rainmaker this time around. Okay, wait, I think we get on those ground. Oh, this is nice. There's just a Hydra. Let me see if I can oh, take the bats. We lost the Rainmaker, so what?
voll. Oh, this is it. Trying, trying to be more surreptitious. <laughs> so oh, nice. Point, a 25 is like. Yeah. But this is still pretty comfortable. You can definitely like take their role, but sometimes you can shark like mm. Just because like once you start popping the role, you get weird. That was not gonna work in any. <laughs> I just wanted to see. I don't. I don't mind getting into the spawn, but yeah, I probably would have like to get the farm or something. That's fair. Yeah, they're just like, what is this guy doing? Oh, they're all the way over there. Actually, I'm just gonna chill. Still one, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, using the Nice. Um Yeah, with Lita one, there's very little to worry about in those spots. If you do find yeah. yourself in that spot where you can kind of wipe some that's a little bit you might actually potentially lose. Uh -huh. um, the thing to remember in Rainmaker is that when they pick up the Rainmaker, your team will get special charge like passively oh so like with like your um your kit and everything like you can that's like a situation where you can paint and throw bombs in order to like stall it out and eventually you're like quite special mm -hmm. so if you ever feel like super nervous like that i know a lot of times people will and like with the comp that you had you're totally fine like just running in and diving and stuff but if you don't have, you know, there is that option where you can just play it slow and just stall, like just keep spamming bombs and getting some points, and just mm -hmm. like at a certain point you'll get crap pretty fast mm -hmm. in those spots. Sense. So just an option to think about. <laughs> you didn't true. need to do it there, but um, if you find yourself in that yeah. favorite spot, just keep in mind the, the passive special. Is really good. True, yeah. I have to think and about if you keep that, spamming yeah. with bombs, sometimes you can just like run out of the like, 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 time. That's true, so it's just a 60 second. Oh, I should have went far left. That's unfortunate. There's a Hydra.
that, that play was like you, you found a good play there, um, but because then like the entire middle of the map was like enemy to me, that's definitely one of those situations you can just like jump down and do pressure on everything. Just to kind of even out there. Definitely a spot. I wouldn't necessarily just dive the Rainmaker. Like they're gonna die eventually, anyways. So you can use that time and like either focus the jump, or you could like get under the ledges and stuff. So. Let me try. Uh, Expose on that angle. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I almost died there. Let's go up. Nice. I can set up a crab here. I'm gonna do it now. Nice. Yeah, I probably would have sat in their bath, like pop bats of crabs, just because we don't want them to get that angle. Yeah, that's like the one thing about the plan is like they can get bats and control the thing. But I like the early crab there because You can take a throw or you can take this special if you don't throw this one. It's over. Oh no, I messed up. Dang, I really messed up there. Um, yeah, and that when you're in that spot that early, like, there's a chance you can just like, jump over a little bit. And just prep for the opposition of Yeah, prep for Uh, sure. Yeah, your, your sharks are really good, um, but I, I always say the shark, so I just want to get some. Oh like, well, yeah, we can pay them some. But I, I like. I like this, point. Nice. this is probably a spot where I can. Yeah. Try okay, far left. Oh, there's someone there. Uh, actually, I can probably. They don't see me. Oh yeah, I was just seeing if I could build one more crab or so. I just didn't want to... I just feel like it was just going to be a waste of ice. A DC? Oh no. Really? This is how? Sucks. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Sometimes you you get it on your on the other side and then you win the game easy. So it's yeah, just part can... of it all. Yeah, and like that crab that you used, like I'd I'd be very confident, like using that crab. Like definitely try to find like a target to to find someone to target before popping it. But like if you use that crab to just keep control, like if you can get a couple of picks to just maintain control of mid like you don't necessarily need a crab by the end of the match like it's mm -hmm. good to keep in mind but uh 
but that doesn't have to be like the only deciding factor like you don't necessarily need a gg like crab obviously it can be nice but if you can like the enemy team's gonna be playing desperate in those spots so if you can find some easy picks uh, i'm totally fine with crab with like this, I say. Yeah. very good Generally, like, not so good. Um, also, there was a moment later for the match, like there was just the brush left, and they ended up climbing up right stack. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You, you chase them in that spot. You can also let them go and like turn your start looking at the people that are coming out spawn. Because they like you could have sharked in mid, and like they would have dropped into mid, and you would have got a free pick. Because like that brush mm, yeah. doesn't. That wasn't like super harmful, and they also like they, really, like they weren't worried about you. They were just like staying alive. Come on, aim. Oh no, <laughs> not like that. Under me. The whole beginning was super clean movement though. Okay. Really good. Oh, he's dead, yes. Oh, I love that. I kept thinking they were gonna roll and I kept on preemptively yeah. moving my thing to the left, but they didn't roll and I was like Okay. <laughs> Stop on the enemy remaker. Uh, I probably would have potentially looked to go for the job during that time instead of just Yeah. Just because like a lot of the to do something. But like ultimately your team's gonna need a pick in that scenario, so if you can get it ahead of time, that'd be great. So if you get the if you help your team with the popper split second faster, does it really make a big difference? Mobs down, yeah. Focus blob here. That range me there. Yeah, it's all good. When you like, there was a certain point in that fight where you like rolled, and you had like, you were really weak, and they didn't take any damage. At that point, I would have just back off from the fight. Yeah, you just stay alive. Just stay alive. Yeah. Really good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bad angle. Oh, wow. That was terrifying. I was so focused on the. I didn't realize we almost lost the lead. You just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably foam about that whole floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I gotta be more uh, sharky here. <coughs> but they are painting a lot too. Like they're holding the Rainmaker and using it for paint. When they hold their make to get the card. Yeah. That's um, true. Cool. 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 No reason to push anything here. 
Oh, she don't come over here. Let me just focus on this. See if I can get blob. Yeah, spy right there, I'd be totally fine crabbing up there as well. Because you know, you're gonna get a pick on the blob, you can also just get some extra shots in there. Sure. You're playing with some. But that's like a kind of wasteful crab, but it's actually good value in this game. There's the blob. I guess I can just hold this. I mean, you can also crab early if you see a good opportunity. Oh, that was good. I think anyone's gonna grab it. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Like, there's definitely a lot of spots where, uh, where yeah, like you can pop crab earlier. If there's like a good opportunity to use it, and I think your timing is pretty solid. Because mm. the thing you have to think about is like, if the enemy team is fighting a little bit earlier and you do find those good opportunities, if you it... end up holding your crab in those situations, like if that hammer ended up getting two or three picks on your team, it's like, yeah, I have crab, but we're in like a 1v4 or like a 2v4. Yeah. And it's like, you know, like there's certain spots where it's like, yeah, just popping crab is better. Like, mm -hmm. I would love to have it now, but, like, this is also, like, if we win this fight, this is funny. Yeah. Sometimes if you can use your special to just, like, simplify the game, even if it's not guaranteed that it's over, but if it, like, highly simplifies it and you'll are still at a good advantage, um, I'll take that any day of the week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's the same block. If you want to drop left and just like immediately push their uh, Yeah, they're flat. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can do that. They do have more aggressive weapons though now, so I feel like this is uh, the... I have to kind of out-mechanic them. Nice. There's one behind us, the Stamper. Let's see if we can get that pick. I gotta pick on the knock hammer in that one spot. I shot a couple of shots and I like hit someone else. <laughs> I'll just shark this. Go! Oh, okay, I see I'm here. Oh, nice. Okay, now I'll see if I can get their bats. We can definitely go for fights there. Um, with the enemy team only with their team, but you can also play mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, both, both plays are really good. But I love to be aggressive. One more away. Oh, this is Julie Swellshirts. Can we get him? I thought I'd jump further in. Let me just have this Julie's. Okay, there, there. Stamp run right. I think Rush keeps setting up the pink line over there. Ugh. They were on the wall. I, uh, my tracking was a little bad there. I, I realized it too late. 
Also, I can't, I can't be super close to Stamper. I feel like I remember that. <laughs> We're all like, I'm trying to avoid my teammates. And I can't. Saw me, but I didn't think they're. I thought that would turn out different. I don't know why. Honestly, I didn't expect them to push you like that either, but yeah. <laughs> you probably could have sat like behind, like the, behind cover, the, the, the cover. cover. Yeah, or yeah I just wasn't cover. expecting it. Yeah, <laughs> Which fine. is not good. I mean, I should I should always expect it. Always. <coughs> I, I had the same thought process as you, though. Yeah. Like, I thought you were in the clear. So you're like basically dead and they had someone chasing them, but they mm -hmm. you instead. I think your play's been really good. I mean, you, you opened up the game by getting those picks early, and that was like a good adaptation. So like, when you, if you drop left, and sometimes you can drop left, sometimes you can like drop through mid and just play through left. But mm -hmm. it's like sometimes you'll take a fight with someone over there. Sometimes you can just get to the clock for free. And then oh, this is my teammate. I'm against my teammate right now. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm just gonna be running mad back line. That's Andy. I have to kill my teammate. That's so sad. Wow. Oh, you got a clip. <laughs> oh no, I can't clip my teammate. That's a rule, actually. <laughs> we can't. I can't save the clip. That was unfortunate. Yeah. No. I wish I stayed on bats. That was another spot I probably would have just stayed in their bats to crab instead of going up the plane. Mm -hmm. Andy sees me. They saw me. There's no way they're gonna see me, right? What? <laughs> I keep accidentally popping out the ink. This is my bad.
I think we got a little greedy at the end, but like it's good. Okay. We hold the left side and we just like take so much pressure away from the rest of our team. The enemy's so worried about us on the left side. Yeah. So, even though we didn't get any fix over there, like we still have a lot of pressure. They're, they're over here. Where am I going? Where am I going? But I probably would have like put it all the way in the like, like, left pit. And, like the stall spot, but it really didn't really come out of the game to move it. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Oh, there is. I knew someone was behind me. I... This lead is not good. Give me a better one. Do a checkpoint buffer with his knife. Makes the lead a little bit bigger than it actually is. But I agree. If there's a chance for us to push it, we certainly can. But we can, like, if we end up stalling it out, we can pull the lead right there. I'm dead. <coughs> yeah, the second I hear that wail, I'm probably looking to back up. Yeah, I was trying to, then the toxic mist kind of. Trip me up. Oh no. I did not want to drop there. That was a complete accident. I have this habit where I accidentally, like, passively hold forward. This is sad. This might be sad here. <laughs> this might be very sad. Okay. Now we have to. Body. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shoot. Not like this. No way. Dang. to like 18 and a half or something but the point didn't come up yeah i will say <laughs> both though both of our pushes we were cooking yeah no i'm happy with that game that was a good game yeah, so <coughs> i like that you know this your your teammate playing top left like, or like the the bow like your actual teammate yeah, um, yeah yeah but on the enemy team um and like we were like i i just love like the routing and the the angle and the cover that we took to take those fights it was really good mm -hmm. um, outside of that um i don't really know how things got at some point like our whole team died i don't know our hydra dropped and died with booyah bomb which was a little bit unfortunate it's like what led to them getting the push they did mm-hmm but I'm trying to think if there's anything like significant that we could have done differently. I just died in some unfortunate spots. If, maybe if I even lived in from that Raymaker explosion at the end, it was probably a slight chance. Or yeah. like focusing my like suction bombing the left side instead of focusing for Raymaker pop. So that way I like distract them for a little bit, maybe give my team a little bit more time. 
the Istafe is kind of really nicely timed whale there, but, um, but yeah, there's definitely a world. The spots are so weird, because with the Hydra, I kind of expected you to get the pop, I'm not gonna lie. That world timing is... It threw me up with her loop, but... Mm. But even in those spots, if the enemy team does get the pop, there is a chance, especially with the Hydra, like, they, can put, like, they still have to pick it up and, like, move it. So, sometimes it's okay. Like, the, the suction bomb play and like, playing off the Rainmaker pop. Like, if I'm you in that spot, I'm definitely going to the Rainmaker pop. You might have been able to sneak in a suction bomb, which might have gotten the pop before the... <coughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I think your team wants to lose it. This would have been cool. I said thank you, I would have lost it. Um, but no, I, I, I would have made the same play that you did. I was just unfortunate that we didn't, didn't have the, the timing. That was super close. Yeah, that was really close. That was a good game. I liked it. That was a good one. Yep. Um, I definitely think in terms of like the... The smooth movement and everything. I, I definitely think that I wouldn't worry about it too much now, because um, the more that you shark, you'll naturally get better at it. But like, we are definite like in the bluntest way possible. We are very clumsy when we're like making small movements when like sharking on the map. Like a lot of times, mm. when you get winning the ink and like pop out of the ink or like, uh, give yeah. away the position a little bit more. Yeah, but that, yeah, 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 yeah. The more that you just do, like, the more that you shark, like, naturally you just get better at it. You just get a bunch of practice problems for you, so yeah. I wouldn't worry about it specifically, but that's definitely, some of our sharks get compromised because of, like, our doing. Where the idea is good is how we kill ourselves really quick. There's someone in the I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint. I can't think of anything else to do. I think you, you handled that situation well. I think that shark that you were doing in your street was really good. We probably could have committed to it for a little bit longer if we needed to. Because we're gonna lose mid regardless, so even if they don't show up, we could probably put them. There's a bubble all the way back there. That means that there's less pressure here, though. to maneuver you little I hesitated there for sure. Okay. Yeah, like when the Rainmaker is just sitting in mid, like I, I would have just started like looking for a shark in their back street. Or like getting mm -hmm. top of bunker or something. Because if you can give if you can hold that space for your team, like that's really If you're able to survive that role, you definitely just want to try to just stay alive in that spot. I don't know. It's gonna wait. Don't try to do that. Yeah. You can gotta get pushed. Now you want to figure out who push crab, who push shark. Gotta deal with the roller. Or just like. I don't know 
what weapon that is, but... Level up. Try to assist that. Okay, they have bubble. Sometimes we get a little bit too comfortable walking on the gates. Uh, feel a little bit careful about that. Oh, uh, okay. Like across the line. Uncomfortable there, you can also just jump out and just start setting up the next level or something. Sure. But I think you play this. You play this all the time. Nice, really well played. Uh, the only reason why I bring up the great thing, like in the in this specific situation, it was just a bow that was like running back, so it wasn't an issue. Um, but in one of those like, rotations, you would do it consistently, and we get punished all the time from people shooting under the great. So mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like in those. There's plenty of situations where you can just walk and shoot on top of it, but I just don't... I, I want it to be a conscious thought. Yeah, that's fair. Definitely Otherwise, fair. I think, that, yeah, I think that game was really great. Um, but yeah, it, those little hesitations, definitely feel free to... Um, just kind of like... Go aggressive and like... Because in order for y'all to get the first checkpoint, you need to get, like, you need to take control of, like, their back bunker, like, that back bunker wall. Yeah. And he's gonna climb up over it. So it's, like, your goal is you to, see. like, try to clear that out. Like, so you have time to get there before the enemy team. You can potentially look for a shark. You can potentially sit up there and pop a crab. I don't think you're in that spot. But, like, there's a lot of plays that you can do. And, like, that's gonna be your ultimate goal. Like, if you're not picking up Rainmaker, which you're basically never going to really need to in a lot of these spots. Um, like, there will be times where it's like, if you need the first checkpoint, you can just like pick it up. And it's like, there's no. If you pick it up now, there's no friction between you and getting that, that checkpoint. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, there's still times where you don't want to pick it up, but like, I'm. I would not think twice about doing that. But. Um, but if you're going to face a little bit of pressure, uh, yeah, definitely just set up. Like, understand what that next goal is, which is getting, clearing out their back street. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so many out. top 500. Hey, look at this. Yeah. Like, five of them in here. Oh, this is a good learning situation. Okay, that's the point I'm getting at. We're all playing right. I'm trying to see what they're doing. are down. I'm gonna help out this fight. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I said I was gonna go left. Oh shoot. Crowd. Yeah, when you're on the left side of that sponge, you can take a look When I was on the left side of the sponge, what? You could have set up for crab on the other one. Yeah, I didn't even know that there was a sponge there until I looked back and I was like, that, yeah, that's why I mentioned it. Is like, on the other mode. Yeah. When we find ourselves in these situations, um, 
I, I usually like to try to skip, obviously Rainmaker, but then if we can try to find like a clean pick. There are two duelies here. Oh, I got neutralized. Oh. I just keep sharking there. Okay. Probably a beacon as well. So. I take twice more carefully. They're cracking me. How can I fight for that? Okay, this way. So. Whoa, they. Oh, I thought they had it. I can set up a crab here. my it put up oh So good. That's what I was been thinking about. That's what I've been thinking about. NT, NT. I think we started a little rough. I think we, we were a little uh, getting back into the, the swing of things with the 2K lobbies. Yeah. <laughs> I think we found our confidence in the second half. I think you played really well in that second half. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just have to do it a whole game. Yep. Yeah, and again, like even if we're in like a bad spot and everything, where like the enemy team has like a big lead, like ultimately as like a front line, we always start things out the same way with like finding that good pick. So. Mm -hmm. like, I guess it's like a, it's a good and a bad thing of like your role doesn't really change too much in terms of like, whether things what, are good or my bad. You, yeah. yeah, you still want like those clean picks and just like you can play it slow and everything. Mm -hmm. I play a lot of similar things in these lobbies, so. Where's 
last one. I don't know. I like using the distraction, but yeah, we can just hold on cover and just chill. <laughs> Why did I do that? I knew that was gonna be the outcome. I'm oh, sorry. We'll continue. <laughs> Oh, true, 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 true. I don't think about that. These rain, these suction bomb plays, I don't think about them. Cracking behind me, I didn't. I felt like it was chasing me. I was also trying to ignore it a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't get any points from that. Okay. When we jump in there, we can look for them. Like we're not controlling the makers. No, I missed. Uh, now this is a bad situation. I'm gonna win, but it's a DC. I don't, I don't even know when they DC. Do you see it? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't the last death yet, but it was one before. I was like 40 seconds off there, so. It was like okay. at the very end. When he grabbed the new up. Transfer. Mm. That was definitely a deserved victory. Uh, but yeah, when your teammate's pushing the Rainmaker, like, if the Rainmaker themselves is in a very panicked <clears throat> position, it doesn't mean that you have to be in a panicked position. Like, if the Rainmaker is getting pressured by a bunch of people, 
Like, you don't have to be in that same state. Like, if, if it's in overtime, sure. You know, like, if they go down and the game ends, valid. But, you know, like, there's plenty of time, especially if you have a lead. Like, even if the maker goes down, if you can find a pick, especially if you, if you can find two picks, like, their death will... Like, if you get one pick, you're chilling, and maybe you can get popped. If you end up finding two picks, like, that's good for your yeah you're gonna yeah. keep the push going keep the push going yeah that makes sense and like the enemy team is gonna be all panicked as well because they're really trying to stop the rainmaker and it's in like mm -hmm. a very tough spot for them so yeah definitely take a deep breath during those moments and just try to find those good picks try to try to use the rainmaker as bait but don't get baited into like over committing to keep the rainmaker in the so that's my reward for the rest of the rain picks Oh, I'm dead. No ink. Oh, they have the thing, they're scoring. Trying to get away from them. It's not working. There's a roller shark in there. I can't see anything. I can't hit anything. Oh, 
Oh, this is great for us. If I can get this pick. Oh, no! Dang. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Gotta stay in the game. think like like there was a time where you pop the crab to get a pick on the machine in mid and they were like underneath our wind or like our wall like that little ledge in mid mm -hmm. um and, like we started that crab like holding down the machine gun fire with the turret and in those spots and it's, it's the same thing with um oh dang that was last Last thing in my rotation. Unfortunately, yeah. not the loss, but that was, a, that was a really nice rotation. Um, but yeah, when, when you're firing into a sea of enemy ink, um, unless you know exactly where the target is and you can get to it easily, because like turret mode's very clunky, um, like expo shots are really good. And it's the same thing when you were crabbing left stack onto their plat and you were like, I can't find anyone. Those are like the perfect times where we just want to get expo shots. Like, Two or three expo shots on the enemy plot is like very very strong because you have like mm. stampers and stuff so like if you like camping under the ledge so if you can just like uncover a couple people on the enemy team like your team can probably like you're chipping them as well so you're doing damage but you're also like discovering picks for them potentially so if you don't like it's not that turret mode's bad but sometimes like just discovering the enemy will help your team a ton than like greeting for a pick with just the turret mode but mm. both, both things definitely have their purposes um another thing with crab um i think it was in the previous game on manta when because you gotta i think you like you pop crab to like clean up one person and then you just had like the remainder of the crab i remember like, that one yeah like Expo shots are always good, um, but for Rainmaker specifically, if you can also like just turret mode the the Rainmaker shield and like help pop that quickly, just to like get more value. It's it's just min maxing. But like, mm -hmm. if the Rainmaker was underneath you in mid, um, and it it had like just popped, so you could have just like shot at it and just popped it really quick. Either either play is like pretty fun. Mm, yeah. I definitely think over time you'll you'll get a little bit more confident with certain suction bomb plays and just timing suction bombs around the Raymaker pop. And like when the shield comes back, because there's definitely a lot of value. Um, especially in some of those games where like certain pop fights are really uh, back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if you can like weave in an extra suction bomb. Um, it can give your team a huge advantage for the pop, but I also like your ideas of like, okay, I'm just gonna ignore the pop altogether, and I'm gonna look for a pick in front. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Um, I think those last couple games look really good. Um, the first 2k game with all those top 500s is a little, a little tough. I think okay. the second half you played really well. But, uh, I don't know. Do you, do you know Love Star? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, gotcha. They're like a they're a streamer. I, I, they make YouTube videos at least, um, but they're like a pretty popular like police player. They feed a ton, but they have like really good mechanics. But they mm. just play like a lot of bullies and like yeah, they just hold forward and feed always. So if you see them again, which you probably will, um, expect that play style. Like, they're very <laughs> talented, but they will. Hold forward and feed the entire game. 
I see. I see. That's the, that's one of the cool things about like seeing the same people and like playing with a lot of like similar people like top 500 and everything is like you'll you'll be able to like oh I know that person this is how learn their play, play style this is it. a way to punish them kind mm. of thing. I guess a lot more personal over time exactly <laughs> uh-huh I'll have a yeah. nemesis after a while <laughs> <laughs> but yeah how did you uh, how do you feel about the rotation like overall what are what are your thoughts coming out of it I think I played pretty well. I was I was questioning whether or not I could play well, being on how on account of how tired yeah. I truly am. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna play good. Yeah, you definitely started a little slow, but yeah, I forgot you were playing super tired. So nice job. yeah, clutching up. You just need a little bit of a warm up. Yeah, I started. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I kind of realized at one point I was like, okay, wait, I can I can play well. <laughs> I can play well. Like, and I, I started, I mean, I don't know. Once you started saying, you know, go for the sharks and all that, it started, the, the game plan started simplifying somewhat. So it yep. made things easier for me, even though, you know, there's still obviously a lot of st spots I'm hesitating in. There were certain things I was like, okay, I can just do this now. Yeah, it's just... The good thing is you're very aware of all those spots. Like, you're super, super aware. Um, and like again sometimes it's like we slowly correct it in the moment and like oh that wasted time sometimes will make the difference in the pushes exactly but, but we're in the process of correcting it so over time it'll be it'll continue to get like better and better so um, yeah I, I i think the big thing with rainmaker and I, I think we'll see it a lot with clan blitz as well is kind of the kind of the statement i made before where like even if your Rainmaker is under a lot of pressure, that doesn't mean that you have to be under a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Like, does that make sense? Like, yeah. If your Rainmaker is like having to dodge a bunch of craziness, like, it, again, this sounds very selfish, but like, you need to be playing very selfish as like an, a frontliner and being mm -hmm. aggressive. Like, that's not your problem. Like, if it's overtime and like if they die and the game ends, okay, maybe it's your problem a little bit. Um, but like, you know if that that's not your problem if your team is like really struggling with the pop and everything you can make a decision do you, do you want to be charitable and help them with the pop or would it be you know better for you to ignore the pop and use that time and that distraction to like set up for a better play mm. and because we just i feel like sometimes and this definitely happened in clan blitz before but i know it's been a while since i've seen a clan blitz rotation so i don't know if it's changed but I haven't so, even played a clan bliss reputation in weeks. That's crazy. So. <laughs> but yeah, like sometimes you definitely get sucked into the moment in terms of like the overall game. Mm -hmm. And like your role is like the one role that you do not want to do that. Mm, yeah. Because you like your your overall goal is to like just get picks. Like you you are a slayer. And like sometimes yeah. you have the flexibility to defend and like be more objective minded things but you will always be playing at your best if you can set up those clean picks you can you know carve out an opening for you the shark or to like again have these selfish plays let let the rest of your team figure out the objective mm -hmm. over time when you get super comfortable with the sharking play style you'll find moments where like oh no it's probably better for me to actually like help out with the objective but you are so far into the direction of like like i said we're like getting caught up it's like you're almost like a spectator of your own game <laughs> oh my god this is like a super hype moment and it's like like we need to like take lead here versus like you analyzing the situation is like oh can i like go for a backliner that's pe peeking over a ledge trying to stop the rainmaker can i like find myself under a ledge like I can definitely tell, like during the and again, like it's a, it's a very human reaction. But if we can kind of cut ourselves off from getting sucked into the excitement of, of the game of like, <laughs> thinking and everything, and just really focus on like doing your job and really doing your role, um, yeah, you'll find huge advantages. Because a lot of people don't like a lot like a lot of people get caught up. I get caught up all the time. Um, so. Mm. It, 
you know, I'm a bit hypocritical by, uh, <laughs> by saying, oh yeah, it's just easy, just like just do your, do your job. But um, but also think about that. Where like the enemy team is gonna be under that same duress, under that same pressure, and like mm -hmm. they're those are the moments where like if you can keep your cool and you can like find an opportunity to, to give an advantage to your team like you're if you can make those advantages more often than not like you're gonna have it that'll be like a huge advantage for you to like win more matches over the mm. long term so yeah. that's like the biggest thing and you know eventually when you, when you play look rotation it's the same thing like uh, like if the enemy team is you know, trying to score the, the power clam, or if your team's pushing in to score the power clam, like, that's not the time for you to, like, run in and, like, try to, like, feed and, like, push in front of the clam person so that you can guarantee that you get the clam in, because ultimately, like, you want to set up for the play, like, after that. And if your teammate messes, like, if your teammate goes for a bad throw with the clam and they get picked, like, that's, that's on them. Like, you can't can't worry about your team making bad decisions or like them getting punished for something like th the best way for you to like minimize that is by making your own play mm. to kind of like offset whatever's happening there yeah that makes sense for sure what what was the other stage other than inkblot art academy oh it was manta yeah yeah we played like a million inkblot right now Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. It's like, yeah, I got to work on that. Just focusing on my role of just getting picks, getting consistent picks and opportunistic picks yeah, over, like, over time. Yeah. Like, think about when you're, like, when things get crazy in the actual game, you know, like, some one team's about to take the lead or, like, you know, it's just, like, one of those situations where, like, it's easy to get caught up in the excitement. Like, those are usually, those are, like, really big distractions. And that mm -hmm. allows you to get away with a lot of stuff from like an offensive position to be able to like find picks. Mm -hmm. like you can use that time to take like a bunch of space or like get behind cover and like take a greedy position that you otherwise might not be able to get normally. Yeah. But yeah, I think, yeah, it is crazy. Like the second that you get over 2k, they just, I will say that like Rainmaker is probably one of the least popular modes in Splatoon 3, so. I guess Clan Blitz mm -hmm. might actually be even less popular. So Clan Blitz and Rainmaker, you're probably going to see a lot of top 500 when you get over 2k, but zones might be a little bit more, uh, although we did see them, so, um, but there might be more. Like, usually there's a higher population in zones, so it'll be a steadier curve to continue to rank up, but yeah, I, I, like I, I think you played well. I think definitely that first match above 2k. You seemed a little timid to make plays, and you know it, it took a little bit to get for us to get our confidence back. Um, there was one time when they were, they were three down on Manta, um, and there was like a heavy edit bot. Like you were sitting top mid, like in your bunker, and then there was a heavy edit bottom mid. And like, if that was a 900 lobby, like you would have dropped on that person, and rolled into them, and wiped them out. But we like hesitate a little bit, so <laughs> we're we're definitely getting more comfortable. Like. Like, you're playing in, like, tough matches at this point. Like, a lot of those players, like, I remember seeing climbing in, like, the first season and stuff. And, like, I would, I would play against them consistently. Not that I'm, like, the beacon of skill or anything. But, you know, just to kind of give that perspective of, like, you know, like, you're definitely playing against people that would be more to get. for most people. Most players are very good players, as an example. Yeah. Well, we'll get there. Yeah, 100%. We will get there, for sure. I'm just trying to think of it. You know what I'm doing. Trying to thumbnail. <laughs> I'm gonna pull his head out here in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's like, no, it's, it's over. Okay, 
yeah. where decision making is really. I think your decision making is really good. I think we're getting to the point where we want to like kind of like we still have a lot to learn, but I think we can like trust our intuition. It's like the situations where it's like, like you to get nervous, it's just like when I say like go with the flow and stuff, like whatever your thought is in those spots are usually like the correct play. And like we're getting to the point where we're playing against opponents that are. Continue, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then no, you're fine. Like opponents are getting to the point where like that has a Potentially going to make the difference in this fight. Yeah, the hesitation is costing me a lot more. That's why I pause. I keep pressing X on accident. Yeah. Whatever. I'll just do this on my own time. Whatever. It's okay. It's okay. I'll do that on my own time. But. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that that's basically it. Um and yeah, like I said, just continue continue with the selfish plays. I think you're like we'll get to a point where we're gonna be too selfish and too greedy and like that's why I'm kind of introducing some points where it's like, you know, oh, the entire middle of the map is like enemy team zinc. That's like getting in the way of us being able to shark properly. So that's where we can introduce a little bit of painting. And you're identifying great spots where like, oh, I could actually like get a crab in this kind of spot instead of going for an aggressive play. Um, and I think I think you're actually just doing a good job of like finding that balance. But um, I would definitely like, and what you have been doing, like err on the side of being super greedy, super aggressive, super selfish. And over time, we'll, we'll reel it back. But uh, but I think you're I think you're doing a good job in terms of your own like kind of self checks and balances with that. So I think that'll be a much easier process for you. Um, but I, I definitely think we still have some room to grow in terms of our like aggressive skills. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely continue to to practice all Push of that. that. Yeah, because yeah. it's just like we'll we'll get more and more more value out of yeah exactly yeah the more we practice and everything. Definitely that movement is something that we're going to want to work on. Um, mm -hmm. Just like, because when we're in like these spotty parts of the ink, um, mm -hmm. there's like sometimes, oh, I wish I had the example in front of me, but it's okay. Um, there's sometimes where like it's faster just to like, just paint and move forward. Because like in terms of sharking, like sometimes our movement like sometimes we can just be better with our movement and like there's there's certain ink patterns where if you were a little bit more comfortable in those spots like you could definitely navigate around without showing yourself or like stumbling over enemy ink and you know giving away those like really big ripples that people will see um but then there's sometimes where like it's just easier to like just paint really quick like just out of the shark mode for like still your end goal is to shark but it's like get out of shark mode for a second and just like paint the floor a little bit like there's certain moments where like the enemy is not gonna have a good vantage point of you sharking in those spots mm. where you can get away with like painting a little bit and then and then resuming sharking yeah it's just like i don't have a lot of paint but i'm not gonna like like instead of playing with what the, like what the ink pattern that's presented in front of you it you're still going for the shark but it's like i'm just gonna make more ink really quick so i can like get into the spot that i want to get into mm, that makes like sense if, yeah if you're just super deliberate and you just like paint a certain area usually it's like to get under a ledge or to like you know yeah just to close that little gap between you know yeah like um, and this is one of those things where like the more that you like experiment you'll you'll get a better feel of like the intuition and like that was the cool thing about like this rotation is like there's so many times where like oh yeah they definitely saw me here and stuff and like I, I think you're already building those skills and they'll just continue to get better but that that's just one idea that i want to present because it's um 
it's not always like spoken about or like sometimes if you're sharking like it's okay to like paint and stuff and sometimes it's okay to shark and like even if they know where you're at like just forcing them to like waste their time is good mm. it, it goes along the same lines like sometimes you take fights with people and it's just like you know all you have to do is stay alive it's like yeah maybe we get a pick here but as long as we stay alive it's still good value yeah so. yeah the, like every shark that you go for doesn't have to be like perfect and sometimes you can deliberately give like, give away information or sometimes you feel like you were giving away information and as long as you do it quickly like you're really not yeah that is true that is true there were a couple of times i was like they saw me and then no one came mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> exactly. like, yeah and you, you get away with stuff a lot more when you play like wider on the map so Mm, that's true because most people's vantage point is focused in middle yeah or toward the objective yeah and that that's where going back to the first point of if the if your teammates in a tough spot with rainmaker like that's their problem exactly like you can use that distraction and like everyone's super focused on it and you can just to guarantee like some good picks yeah because they'll they'll even be spots sometimes where like even if they know that you're there like they still can't even with engage them. with me for real. Yeah, because yeah, it's like you're making them decide. It's like, oh, I know the Doolies is over here, but like I also need to stop the Rainmaker. Mm-hmm. It's like even though like they might know that you're in the spots, like they still don't want to deal with you, and they're probably still gonna focus on the objective. So, yeah. Either way, keep playing. You'll I think you're doing great. Um, definitely think we're getting to the point where we can comfortably stay above 2k but uh but yeah like i said still a little yesterday, more yesterday like it, it's still like there's such a polarized difference in the mm-hmm. na region specifically about like the top 500 so uh, i like your point of like oh yeah it's just like it's a learning experience kind of thing um then as long as you can play these matches with a healthy mentality um you're gonna continue to learn really quick and you'll you'll fit right in Mm, yeah so, thanks yeah. yeah anyways that's it i don't know if you have anything else but uh that's all i got uh no well uh, i guess tell the people where they should follow you i guess <laughs> so I can, i'll end oh, the recording oh my bad <laughs> it's all uh, good uh uh reborn underscore in a uh, twitter works but i'm also <laughs> on top usually the two places to go uh, yeah, nice. Let's, let's uh, continue to support Orca as we we push to top top 500. We got to get top 500 in at least one of the modes by the end of the end of the rotation. Top 500. Rotation. You just <laughs> did you? No, I was no, just no, aiming for 2300. Now you're saying top 500. Is no, 2300 top 500? As There's no way, right? Some of the modes probably. Actually, maybe. Know. If not, it's really close. Huh. We can stick with 2300. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm I'm down to aim for top 500. I'm That's down to aim for. Cool. I'll, I'll aim for it. I'll aim for it. We'll see if we can get there. But, uh, yeah, definitely take care and uh, good rotation. Bye yeah, thank you. Me. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. All right. Until next time. Have a good night. Later. Later.